today let's go shopping with miss honey she will also explain us the unitary method while shopping hello kids in problems related to unitary method the cost of many things would be given we have to find the cost of many more or less things for doing this we first go from many to one and then from one to many which we have already learnt so let's begin shopping and learning together i have to buy some books there are eight books here these eight books cost 80 rupees but i need only five books so let's find out what will be the cost of five books first let's see what information we have there are eight books eight books cost 80 rupees now let us see what we have to find out what will be the cost of five books so here we first need to find out the value of one book now to get the value of one book we have to divide the total value of books with the total number of books so here we divide 80 by 8 to get the cost of one book we know 10 into 8 is equal to 80 so we will write 10 as the quotient now write 80 below the dividend here let's subtract 80 from the dividend we get 0 as the remainder therefore cost of one book is equal to rupees 80 divided by 8 is equal to 10 rupees now to find out the cost of five books we multiply the cost of one book into number of books therefore cost of five books is equal to rupees 10 into 5 which is equal to rupees 50 we got the answer cost of five books is rupees 50 yippee let me pay for the books now let's buy some pencil boxes look six pencil boxes cost rupees 780 what will be the cost of four pencil boxes so here we need to first find out the value of one pencil box we divide 780 by 6 to get the cost of one pencil box we start with comparing the digit in the hundreds place that is 7 with the divisor that is 6 as 7 is greater than 6 we can divide 7 by 6 here we use the table of 6 such that the product is equal to or less than and nearest to 7 so the nearest product is 6 hence we write 1 above the 7 as we know 1 into 6 is equal to 6 write the number 6 in the hundreds column under 7 subtract 6 from 7 the remainder 1 is written in the hundreds column now bring down the next digit that is 8 and write it beside 1 here 
18 is greater than 6. So, we can divide 18 by 6. Now, find the nearest product to 18. We know 3 into 6 is equal to 18. We write 3 above the 8. And the number 18 under 18. Now, subtract 18 from 18, which equals 0, which is the remainder. Write 0 in the tens column. Now, bring down 0 from the ones column. We know that any number multiplied by 0 gives 0 as the product. So, write 0 above 0. And 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Thus, we get the quotient as 130. So, here we come to know that the cost of one pencil box is 130 rupees. Now, to find the cost of four pencil boxes, we multiply the cost of one pencil box into the number of pencil boxes. So, here we would be multiplying 130 by 4. 0 into 4 is equal to 0. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. We carry 110 above 1 in the hundreds column and write 2 in the tens column. Now, 1 into 4 is equal to 4. So, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, which we write in the hundreds column. Thus, here we get the answer as 520. Therefore, the cost of 4 pencil boxes is rupees 520. Let's buy them. It was great fun shopping and learning something new.